has analyzed the impact of AI on the global workforce and foresees significant changes, including increased automation leading to job displacement. Although the impact will be more pronounced in developed countries, developing nations such as Ghana will not be immune. When we looked at the labor market's impact over the next years, in advanced economies, some 60% of jobs would be impacted. In emerging markets, 40%. In low-income countries, 26%. We have to think how we can make the best out of it, prevent artificial intelligence instead of source of good to turn into a source of inequality. Meanwhile, the government is planning to introduce a policy to regulate the use of artificial intelligence in the country. It will approve within the shortest possible time. And it's been worked on, it, it was developed through multiple stakeholder consultations. The minister and her team didn't sit in a room and develop it. Um, it was supported by the GIZ. Uh, the Data Protection Commission led its development. Multiple um, regulators, um, academics, um, civil society, network operators, the regulators, all of them worked on developing this policy, mindful of the huge impact that AI can have, both positively and negatively, how to maximize its benefits and minimize its negatives as well.